Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and today I'll be covering this Antec Edge 750 watt power supply. It should also come in the 550, 650 and 850 watt versions and they should all come with 80 plus gold certified with a max efficiency of 92% and Antec guarantees that it, you will get continuous power with these power supplies. There are some specs listed on the box that I like to cover. Let's start off on this end. So this power supply is Intel Haswell NC7 ready and it's compatible with the new ATX 12V 2.4 standard. And it is 80 plus gold certified, which means that at 20% load, you get 87% efficiency. At 50% load, 90% efficiency. And 100% load, 87% efficiency. Now let's turn around to the side for a look at the power chart, which is right here. So it is a dual plus 12 volt rail design at 40 amps each with a total of 750 watts. And just a small breakdown is that the 12 volt one rail is for Molex SATA, floppy CPU and main connectors. And the 12 volt two rail is for PCIe connectors. Finally, on the back of the box, you get a five year warranty, which is a pretty sweet deal. And Thermal Manager, it's an advanced low voltage fan control for optimal heat and noise management. And here you get Circuit Shield, which is a full suite of protections over current, over voltage, short circuit, over power protections, and more. And this also comes with uh, Japanese capacitors, so you know you get that really high quality build as well as uh, durability. Here is everything that comes in the box. You get the power supply itself, which I will go over in more detail in just a bit. But first, let's take a look at the documentation. So, of course, you get an install guide listing the various parts and whatnot, and a warranty guide. Here's also some mounting screws for your power supply. You will probably need them, as well as your power cord, pretty standard. Now then, uh, I've only ever seen these covers once before. God, I just remember there was the uh, LeBron series and Le Gold or something, but uh, here I'm actually gonna show you how to place it on the power supply. So you just take it like this and then go ahead and place it on the back of the power supply and make sure to match up the holes for where the screws will go when you uh, actually install the system and uh, the other one will go on this side so it's simple enough it's a uh, just really easy to take off and put back on, which is kind of awesome because the last, uh, these are called anti-noise decouplers, by the way, but I shall just call them anti-noise rubber strips. <laughs> anyway, so um, the last one I've seen like cover the entire power supply, so it was hard to put on and take off, but I actually like this one a lot. And you can even go ahead and put on a red set or just do red and black. Maybe that is the uh, theme of your build. So that is what it looks like if you were curious. Ta-da! Now then, let's go ahead and take a look at the cables. This is gonna crunch a lot, so that's why I'm just gonna take them out of this little baggie for you, and then we'll begin. Here's a look at all the cables that come with the power supply, and as you can see, this is a fully modular PSU, and most of the cables are this flat, very thin, black stealth cables, um, except for the main connector, which is also sleeved in black, but it's, it's thicker, it's definitely not flat. Um, but why don't we go ahead and start out at the 20 plus four pin main connector, actually. So that's uh, pretty standard there. And this is not, however, for future proofness. Antec has uh, included this 18 plus 10 pin connector that plugs into uh, your power supply. Now then, let's move right along. You've also included this, uh, I believe this is an eight pin CPU plug, as well as a four plus four pin CPU connector, uh, depending on uh, which compatibility you have, it's always nice to have both. Now then, what else do we have here? Oh, these are PCIe connectors, so you get two, with each cable, so that's two, four, six PCIe plugs. Now then, down here, what do we have? We have one, two, three, four SATA, as well as an additional four SATA connectors, and one SATA right here squished in with two Molex plugs, so that's nine SATA, two Molex so far, and an additional four Molex plugs, so that makes six Molex, and you get a floppy. This floppy will just never die. Now for a closer look at the power supply. So it measures 170 millimeters or 6.6 .6 inches long this edge, 
150 millimeters or 5.9 inches along this edge and it is 86 millimeters or 3.3 inches tall. Now flipping it on this side, here is the included silent 135 millimeter fluid dynamic bearing white LED fan. And to turn off the LED, because who knows, some of you might not want that, you can go ahead and switch um, the switch here. And here are the various ports for the uh, cables. And up here is the 18 pin motherboard uh, connector port and the 10 pin motherboard connector port. Next to that is the CPU port. And next to that is the uh, you know 12 volt two rail port, which is for the PCIe connectors. And up above that are the 12 volt one connectors for let's say your SATA, your Molex and all that good stuff. Now over here, do get some honeycomb ventilation with the Antec logo facing upright. But if I were to flip this, Let's say I wanted to install the fan on the bottom. Then the Antec logo is once again upright, which is a nice little touch with more ventilation holes. And on the back, you'll notice that there is an edge sticker. You can actually take this off because if you were to mount it with the fan up, it would be upside down. And here's the power port as well as the power switch. And this is actually quite a hefty power supply. You can kind of like see into the internal components. It is just very good quality, I would have to say. One thing I did want to mention uh, are these ports here. These are 16 pin sockets for your PCIe connectors and basically it just doubles the modular connectivity because it supports two different 8 pin cables per socket instead of the single socket. And it also allows for future connector changes, very future proof. I've jumped the power supply obviously because I don't have a system to plug this into. <laughs> I want to show you the uh, LED fan. So um, it's generally the green wire and any black wire or since these are all black, just remember this setup like this. So it's those pins. So it's like the eighth set and uh, closest to this connector right here. Yes, that's how I remember it. Alrighty, uh, now then let's head on over here. I plugged in the 18 pin as well as the 10 pin for the, uh, you know, inside the motherboard section. And then here is the LED. How cool is that? And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and off so you can see. Off, on, very cool. Well, that wraps up this video on the Antec Edge 750 watt power supply. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons. Also, be sure to follow me on social media, Joanne Tech Lover Facebook fan page, Joanne Food Lover Twitter, and twitch.tv slash worldtune, where I game stream with Tim Weekly. Also, please don't forget to donate so it can help expand this channel and feed this techie. One last thing is storeenvy.com. Go ahead and check out my 8.5 by 11 inch autograph prints and purchase to your heart's content. All that's left to say is see you next time. Next time.